This is a topic I covered on my previous channel last year with the connection with the Falkland Wars and Deception Island just north of Antarctica. We get a little bit of a close-up. And this is Deception Island here. Let's look at the, the relative closeness. If I can find it here. The tip of South America. Let's look at the Falklands. And the South Georgia Islands, if I can find it. There we go. The South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands, which of course are ruled by the Brits. And like I stated in my previous video last year, this is basically a strategic point. Let me back up here a little bit so we get a better idea. This is something I want to get into again. Now going back in time to the Falkland Wars in 1982, as I stated many times, the world is a stage. What was the Falkland Wars all about? And I believe, again, this is just a strategic point, the closest point to Antarctica, to the ring. And of all the continents, this is their basically their base. I'm just taking a look at the UK overseas territories, and I find it pretty interesting. Like I said, with the Falklands, you have the South Georgia Islands, and they have this territory in red as part of their territory. Again, this is the strategic point. I'm talking about the royal family, the so-called elite that run this world, that own this world. Take a look at the U.S. Of course, you have New York. New York is in England. New Hampshire, you go to Australia even, is still owned and controlled by England. Don't let them fool you and make you believe they're independent and sovereign. The New South Wales, Queensland, of course all the territories in Africa that the royals own. Now let's take a look at this when it comes to Russia. So again, when I talk about the royal family owning it all, you see the connection with the royal family and Russia going back in time with the Romanovs, and again taking a look at the UK overseas territories. Basically, they all should be marked red. Here's something I found interesting, of course, with the Scottish Rite and Freemasonry of the UK. Take a look at the Russian coat of arms. Do you see the similarities and how people can't see how they all connect and how the world is a stage? Now, getting back on topic with Deception Island, let's just take a look at this image here this unusual island. Let's take a look. It used to be a whaler's colony. And I found this pretty interesting. Take a little close-up look at this. What do you see? A little Illuminati pyramid and these look like obelisks. But what's the deal with this? This is pretty interesting stuff. Now taking a look at Wikipedia's page on Deception Island, which I find pretty interesting. When you get bit down to the history of it, where it states in the history, the first authenticated sighting of Deception Island was by British sealers William Smith and Edwards Bransfield. This was back in January 1820. And they talk about the explorer, the American sealer, Nathaniel Palmer. And I found this pretty interesting. In November of 1820, Palmer remained for two days exploring the Central Bay. Palmer was the first to name the island Deception. And interesting enough, there's no official explanation why they call it Deception Island. I find that very interesting. Like I've stated, we live on a flat earth, and this is part of the deception. The closest point, this island to Antarctica, which is the ring around the world. So you can forget about the supposed Antarctica Treaty from back in 1961. The world's a stage. It's owned and controlled by the bloodline. Just take a look at the occult of this Antarctica Treaty meeting from back in 2007. You've got the triple X's, like I said before, in Pythagorean numerology, this is a hidden code for 666. And again, you look at the dates here, it's on the 30th to the 11th. In numerology, the zero doesn't mean anything. You get three and 11. This is the cult of Freemasonry, the highest degree in the Scottish Rite of 33, of course. I mentioned the double-headed eagle, some call it a phoenix. To me, it doesn't matter. It's all the same here with Russia as well, again. Going back here, like I said, you know, all these, these supposed UK overseas territories, 
the remark read, forget about this, they own and control it all. Like I stated with Australia, you got New South Wales, you have Queensland, you have Russia, the connection with the Romanov family, you have India, of course. England had a huge role in India. You had all the territories in Africa. Get to the United States was, of course, District of Columbia. Columbia being a Masonic goddess. You have British Columbia in Canada. You have the country of Columbia in South America. And then you come to the gateway from Falkland Islands to South Georgia. The Deception Island, like I stated, this is the gateway to the ends of the world. Black Hearth, England, okay, patent allowed November 15th, 1892, okay? Now let's have a look at this. This is going to blow your minds, friends. Let's zoom it up a little because this thing is going to take time to move. Okay, here it comes. Check it out, guys. I'm going to bring it up, 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 bring it up. Okay, I'm going to stop it about right there for a second. Right there is the North Pole. Okay? Right here is America. Can you see that? There's America. And the other continents. Alright, and what's this surrounding this? Let me get something to point this out with. to do this with if I can find one. I should have been prepared for this. There we go. What do we got here, friends? What is this surrounding? What is this mass surrounding the flat earth? This map was made in 1892. Let's watch a little bit more here, okay? Let's zoom it up a little faster. Okay, I'll stop it here. Okay. And then it tells a June Celsius and a December Celsius. But I want you to look at this landmass here, okay? This landmass. That's Antarctica. Alright, do you get the picture? We'll zoom on through this a little bit. Okay, let's watch this. Let's read this. Okay, see that? Right there. Map 10 4, 1892. Map 773. By the Buffalo Electrical Type and Engraving Company of Buffalo, New York, USA. Okay? Is this not a mind boggler? Let's go a little bit further. See what they're doing here. Okay, it gives minutes and degrees of longitude and latitude. Sun time. It gives all this stuff. This is a this is a Siemens map. Okay. And here we go. If you can read that. It tells about the December Celsius. Okay. It tells you how cold it is at the circle along the circle of Antarctica at the edge of the earth, at the edge of the flat earth. Okay, let's go on further here, friends. Alright, and there it shows it. Okay, there's north, and there's uh, the outer perimeter. Okay, let's go a little further, friends. Okay, this here tells about uh, June Celsius. I'm sorry I'm jumping around with this, I'm trying to keep up with this video. Oh, let me back that up. Okay, if you can read that. If not, I'm going to, I'm sorry, but that's how it is. All right, this is a real map. Okay, I want you to see this. Boston Public Library, that's where this came from. All right, now look at this. Do you see this name here? Graham Land. Okay, this is, this here, this is the ocean, and this is, Antarctica circling this land okay let's go a little further okay let me back this up I'm going too fast here 
Okay, we've got Graham Land. Alright, there's Graham Land. It's going around a little further. So I just think it takes two days and an hour to move. There's Southern something. Okay, let's see what it's going to come up on next. Come on. The Arctic Circle. Can you imagine that? Did you see that? Let me back that up. Let's back that up. South of George. Okay, where's that at? Where's that at? Come on. See how when you want something to work, it doesn't? There we go. Antarctic Circle right there. I don't know if I'm showing anything. I'm probably looking at you and not even getting to see it. There's a Kemp land. Longitude east. Okay, look at this. You got... What is that called? Gremlin land. Bud land. Knox land. Treasure land. See, they got different points where they've they've uh, made landfall. Okay, that's what this is about. Here's some more. Alec land, Clara land, and North land. Okay. There's Australia, friends. What's uh, south of Australia? Do you get this picture, guys? This is a map from 1892. All right. New Guinea, all right, and then we go back to here, Victoria Land. There's some more over here. These are the different uh, points south. All right, now why did they make this map? You want to explain it to me? Why did they make this map? Okay, is that not funny? Are you getting the picture? Are you getting the picture of what we're getting here, guys? And there it is, friends. There it is. There is the flat earth. And there's the, the land, the, the ice land of Antarctica that circles the flat land of the earth. Map made in 1892 and republished. Okay, and it was found in the library. All right, so there you go. Prove it, disprove it. There's the proof, friends. God bless you. How do kids? How do I? Young Marie One. Bye bye.